What's going on you guys? And I know that you're here to see some perfectly fried fish, but we gotta get fish in order to do that. So I'm heading to the pond right now, taking my new rod with me, gonna catch some fish real quick, and then we're gonna fry them up. Stay tuned, here we go. But we're gonna do something just a little different today. I'm going to take some bread here. As you can see, I got just a little piece of what's left of a hot dog bun. And my new setup here, guys, is a, a Zebco Splash. This is one of those expensive ones right here. And we're gonna go straight to the backyard pond and see if we can catch some bluegill to eat for dinner tonight. I got a little bobber on here and then a little bitty jig head, as you can see. And we're gonna see if we can catch some of these big bluegill out of here and fry them up. So stay tuned, let's see what happens, guys. This is gonna be fun. <laughs> we call them big enough to eat. We call them big enough to eat. We call them big enough to eat. All right, guys, that's a good bluegill right there. And that is a good hand-sized bluegill. That's a perfect eater. I can't believe we actually got one. That's cool. So we're going to throw this guy in the bucket. All right, we're just going to put another piece of little dough ball on the hook. Throw it back out there. That is the first keeper brim that I have caught out of my pond. Oh, there's another good one, yo. I got him. I got another good one. Oh, I think. Oh, dude. Oh, dude, he's bigger than the first one. <gasps> Look at that. Look at this bluegill. <gasps> oh, my gosh. All right. <laughs> Second bluegill, he's bigger than the first one. That's a perfect, perfect eater right there. I'm so excited for this. Ew. Oh, baby, that's a good cast. That's where all them big ones have been. Kind of right over in here. Yeah, there's another one. There's another one. I got him. 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 Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's a fighter, too. He's a fighter, too. <sighs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You are hand size, yes sir. Yeah, so welcome to the kitchen. I don't think I've done a video in the kitchen yet, so this is the first time for everything. So basically what we have here is we have our four brim, then we have the egg for egg wash, and then we'll dip the fish in the egg before we put them in the batter, and that just helps the batter stick to it. Uh, the batter that we have in this bag here is just the Louisiana fish fry type batter. You can literally find this at any store near you. The first thing we'll do is actually called scorn. We're gonna scorn these brim just so when you do this and you fry them, all that grease and all that fry and the batter and everything gets down in the fish meat as well and makes it super crispy. So it's not, we're not gonna do a lot, just one straight down and then one from the tail to the middle of it. And you kind of just create an opening in the fish just so you can cook down in that meat and that meat gets super crispy. fish nice and scorned. We're gonna crack our farm fresh egg here. Then we're gonna beat the egg a little bit just to mix it up. So after you get that done, it is time to get ready to put these fish in the batter. So I get my bag open and then I'll just take my fish and then put them in on that side, move them around real good, switch sides, get that egg nice down and in there and then put them in the bag and then take all of them and do the same thing. You just wanna get a good coat of this egg wash on the outside of the fish, down in there, and boom. All right, wash your hands off, guys, because it does get a little messy, and a frying fish is just as how it's gonna be. You gotta get a little messy and you use a lot of paper towels. So then we're gonna just seal the bag here. You don't wanna seal it all the way, just get to the end. And we'll wipe some of the egg wash off that. And then what I like to do is just kind of give your mouth a little bit of room. Blow it up, seal it up, then you get a lot of air in there. And now you have a lot of room for this fish to get good, nice, and coated into this batter. And that is beautiful. All right, so to be completely honest with you guys, the deep fryer I was going to use broke right before I was gonna make this video. Now I gotta fry them in a pan, which is just fine. They'll turn out just the same way, but I was gonna do them in the deep fryer. Just know you know, I'm dedicated to making these videos for you guys because I love them. If you wanna get your grease to about 350, no more, no less, 350, that's what you wanna to get to. So on the stove here at mine, mine is like a seven. So that's like a medium high on a stove. So we're gonna wait for the grease to get hot 
And let me show you these fish real quick and look how perfectly coated and good these look. And without making a mess all over the floor here, look how good and coated those are. Those are gonna fry absolutely perfectly. All right guys, so the grease is nice and ready and a good way to test it is just take a little bit of your flour there and throw it in and if it's crisping up pretty quick, that means it's done. So we're gonna take our first piece here and we're gonna drop him in and he is frying beautifully. That's exactly what you want that to look like right there. And then we'll just do two at a time. We have four. We might be able to fit them all in here. I think we can fit them all in here, y'all. So we're gonna put them all in here and let them fry. And this won't take long at all, y'all. It'll be about two or three minutes on each side and that's gonna be it. We'll fry them on this side and then we're gonna flip them two or three minutes on that side. And then they're gonna be done. We're gonna plate them up and they're gonna be ready. All right, the bad boys are ready to flip. So let's give them a little flip here. In the grease. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. And I like eating whole fish. Some people don't like eating whole fish. This is exactly how I do fillets as well. The same exact way, you guys. All right, you guys, this fish is done and then did not take it but six minutes. It was three minutes on each side. And just, that looks so good. I'll give you a better look in a second. I love some fresh fried fish and I'm blessed because I can eat a ton of fresh fish all the time, whether it be salt water or fresh water. But you guys, this fish right here is done and it is gonna be delicious. I can go ahead and tell you that now. So what I like to do is I like to put a little bit of salt on top of mine. This makes it that much better. And then salt the tail on these things. So I'm gonna show you a little secret here and you're gonna thank me later. So what I like to do is first I like to start and I like to eat the tail of these fish. And it's almost just like a potato chip, y'all. Mm. And you hear how crispy that is. And you can do that with certain fins and all that stuff too, but the tail, that's the best. And then we're just gonna peel off a piece of meat and just look how good that looks. It is hot, you can see it's steaming, but we're about to try it right now. Mm. Mm mm. It don't get no better than that right there, guys. And that is how you make perfectly fried fish every single time. Super easy, guys. Do it this way every time. You'll never regret it. If you like the video, give me a big thumbs up. If you're a subscriber, thank you. I love you. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Love you guys. See you again soon. Peace out.